Hey everyone, my name is John Villiot. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a short demo of a file searching tool called Everything, developed by Void Tools. For as long as I could remember, the file searching capabilities of Windows Explorer were never really that great. In fact, to me, it was uh, so slow that it was borderline unusable. A few years ago, someone introduced me to Everything, and ever since then, I've never looked back. The reason why I wanted to give this uh, uh, demo today was because I feel like this this is a tool that could greatly benefit people who didn't have the strongest technical skills but could, who could still greatly benefit from using everything. So I'm going to start us off by doing a speed comparison test between Windows File Explorer and everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a search for any and all, any and all MP4 files that are located on my desktop and I'm going to see how long it takes for each program to complete. So. Over here on my screen, we'll see that we have Windows File Explorer located at the bottom and we see everything at the top. So I'm gonna fire off a search for all of the MP4 files on my desktop. And you'll see that it's taking quite a bit of time slowly going through my entire desktop. Forget we have some results, but this definitely isn't uh, exhaustive of everything that's on my system. In the meanwhile, if we look up to everything, I'm going to do a search for MP4, and it's done virtually instantaneously. Uh, and you can see if we go back down to the file explorer, you'll see that it's still chugging along. The reason why everything is so much faster is because it's very efficient in terms of its, of its indexing. When I say indexing, I mean how it keeps track of all the files and folders on your system so it can easily find them later. Now the typical person is probably going to be using everything to look up stuff such as uh, audio files, video files, documents, etc. So I wanted to give an example of how you'd go about doing that. Uh, so let's say I wanted to find a particular audio file on my desktop, uh, but I couldn't remember what it was called exactly, um, but I do know that it was an MP3 file. So let's say I can do a search. I can start us off by doing a search for any and all MP3 files. And you can see that brings up uh, a ton of results and it'd be pretty time consuming to go through all of these. So what I could do is maybe I, uh, let's say for example, I remember that the uh, file, I, since I downloaded it, it's probably going to be located in my downloads folder. As you can see, that narrows down our results quite a bit. And if I wanted to filter down these results even more, even providing a partial file name would be able to do that. So here, for example, I can't remember the full file name, but I'm pretty sure that it had the word battle in it. So if I type that in, and you can see that that drastically reduces the amount of findings that we have. So everything is pretty powerful in terms of what it can filter by. As we've seen, we can filter by file names or by folder names, but what we can also do is we can also filter by hard drive. So let's say if I was trying to find a particular MP4 video file in my system, you'll see that brings up quite a large number of results. Now, let's say that I knew for a fact that this uh, MP4 file was located not on my C drive, but on my D drive. As you can see, we're getting a ton of results from our C drive. What if we, what we can do is we can filter that out, and that narrows down our resulting list that much more. Furthermore, if you wanted to look up your image or a video file by thumbnail, you could do that here as well. So at this point, you've seen me search for stuff using .mp3 or .mp4 as a as, uh, filters for whatever file extensions that we look up. Now, a lot of people uh, may not be familiar with every single file extension type there is, especially if, they're, especially if they're not tech savvy, they may just say, look, I just want to be able to pull up every single audio file on this system. Uh, can everything help me with that? And it can. So if we navigate over to this search tab, you'll see that we're able to specify all of our results by all these file types. So if you, if I'm able to, if I uh, select audio, it'll pull up every each and every single audio file on my system, regardless if it's a .wav or .mp3 or anything else. So what I also like about everything is that you know, use also use it to look up the content of the file itself. So let's say that you were trying to find a uh, PDF for the chocolate chip cookie recipe, in it. and let's say you, maybe you couldn't remember what the name of what the PDF file was called. Um, you couldn't remember much about it except it was a PDF file. So could we search for PDF files that only had the word chocolate in it? Uh, can we do it? Can we do that? You betcha. So I'm going to do a search for that over here. And I'm pretty sure it was in my documents folder, because I'm going to provide that as well. As you can see, it comes up uh, relatively quickly. And as you can see, this would be very helpful for if not only if you didn't remember the name of the file, but if it was also a unhelpful file name, like some file.pdf that doesn't, that's not necessarily going to come up in a search if you're looking for uh, cookbooks or baking books or what have you. So 
Uh, so we just have that uh, additional flexibility over there. Um, another common situation that I know I end up, uh, that I personally end up quite um, in quite a bit myself is, uh, let's say that I wanted to get a collection of all the files that I was working with um, in a particular point in time. So let's say I was recently working on a multimedia project and there was a, it that involved a number of video editing files, some Photoshop files, and I needed to get access to them quickly because maybe I have to copy and paste them over to a thumb drive for, uh, for whatever reason. Um, what's even worse is maybe I don't even remember the, the, um, the file type extension because I'm, maybe I'm brand new to this uh, particular, uh, to this particular software. Uh, so. Uh, we have a software we have a feature that has that doesn't sort by directory or by file type but by time so uh, let's take a look we can uh, narrow down our searches by uh, all the files and folders that were changed um with uh, this modifier so dm stands for date modified and for here we're looking for today so as you can see this is a comprehensive list of every file and folder that was modified over a particular point in time I'd say that if I didn't want to, was interested in it's just today, but if I wanted to do sort by this week, I can also do that as well. But if I want to also be specific and provide two uh, individual points in time, I can also do that as well. So let's say if I wanted to search for all the files and folders that were edited over a year's period. So as you can see, I'm uh, doing searching by date modified for January of 2021 to January of 2022. And as you can see, we have the full list of everything that was uh, modified uh, right up here. And you can see how quick that um, quick this full list uh, returned. So as you can probably imagine, if, you, if you're looking for something, you know, very specific on your system, uh, some of these search queries might become um, a bit more complicated and it's gonna be hard for you to remember. And if you wanna keep using that same query over time, uh, or multiple times, then it's going to be hard for you to, it might be hard for you to remember exactly how you typed it out um, and how exactly you're able to do it. So uh, it would be helpful if we ha had the ability to save our searches. And luckily we do have uh, exactly that. We have a search history and we can, once we enable it, we can find uh, all of these searches that we've done. So you'll see here that we've done, we're looking at all the searches um, that I was able to um, do earlier in this demo, including this one. So this is, uh, this is a, as you can see, this one's pretty meaty. I'm looking on an external hard drive, my F drive, only looking for video files above 200 megabytes. Uh, they're MP4s and I'm looking within a specific, uh, specific date range. So as you can imagine, like if I wanted to run this over and over and over again, uh, um, in the next few weeks or months, it, it's going to be really tedious for me to type this all out. And I can either, uh, as you can see, I can either save it in my, have it saved in my search history, but what I can also do is I can use a bookmark feature. So what we can do here is we can have, uh, we can uh, save our specific searches and we can edit them. So here I have that exact search saved and I have a more human readable description. So searching for video files in a date range, um, for an external hard drive that's a, for anything that's bigger than 200 megabytes. And then I have the actual search included uh, right here. So uh, just another thing to make complicated searches over time uh, that much easier. So as you can see, everything is not only an incredibly fast tool, but it also has a lot of powerful features to make file searching as easy as possible. I'm really only scratching the surface of uh, everything's capabilities with this demo, but I think everything that I went over today would be more than enough for the average user. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with another demo that would be more helpful for people who might be running everything in a more professional production level environment. But uh, until then, I hope that this, is, this demo has been uh, helpful for you. And if you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you.